dislikes sin. And God punishes sin. God loves sinners. But God hates sin. When God was about to destroy man, he located a man called Noah. And Noah found him grace in the eyes of God. He saw Noah. Noah distinguished himself in a rotten community. Some of us will say, everybody's doing it. Some of us will say, everybody is there, is practicing it. Noah distinguished himself. A GMO is not a product of a crop producing a seed. You have to know that. A GMO, it is a seed interfered in in a scientific way. Kwa maabara. Yeah? And developed there something different. That looks like maize, but it's not maize. And those people who were born through those which were called sons of God, they beget GMO people. Giant, tall, huge, with his six fingers and six toes. No, that's not what I'm preaching. I'm preaching this. In the midst of these things happening, God located Noah. Now, because Jesus said, in the day of his coming, let me show you. In the days of his coming, the days of Noah will be repeated. And because the days of Noah will be repeated, same evil, same wickedness, same sin. Now listen, before I show you that verse. And Gomorrah. They began practicing unusual things. And these things which they were practicing, they were not allowed by God. Lesbianism, homosexual, Avijana nataka munisikize vizuri, Vijana, tunatabia kupenda kuiga. Fanya research yako mzuri labda unajua kinifanya research yako mzuri manyake mimi mtoa kwanza kumuona amepaka rangi hapa ya blue Ali, aliitwa Gina hayupo sasa kwa hivyo nikimtaja hakuna shida anaitwa Benyavange na ndiye mkenya wa kwanza mwanaume kutangaza yeye ni mke Benyavange ndio ile rangi ile akipaka ile rangi anaji introduce mwenyewe ajui ya hata kama nimevaa suti lakini mjue mimi ni mwanamke sasa sisi sisi tunapenda kuiga vitu sana kuona kitu na kukiiga inaonekana ndio fashion ukipuliza rangi fulani nywele sisemioni mbaya puliza lakini usige benyavange sasa katikati, katikati, in the middle of all those things, God located Noah. Yemeondoka kule wacha tuisome huko. Hebu, hebu soma hiyo, verse 8, 1, 2, 3, go. No, 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 wait. Kwa sauti kubwa, sema tena. Yes. in the eyes of the Lord if there's something you need 
need to have it. It is to find grace in the eyes of God in this rotten generation. In this crooked generation. In this perverse generation. The only thing that can keep you going. The only thing that can keep you moving. Can keep you loving God. Can keep you serving God. Is to find grace in his eyes. And in law found grace and because Jesus said evil will increase in the end time while evil is increasing you find grace grace protects you grace strengthens you grace upholds you grace lifts you up Grace gives you the ability to conquer. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord Jesus, let me find grace in your eyes. Are you serious? Say it again. Lord Jesus, in this wicked city, may I find grace in your eyes. In Jesus' name. Say, Amen. Shout, Amen. Yes, while everything was wicked and God is prepared to destroy everything, he located Noah. Now, my preacher was preaching something different because he said, Noah, he was building the ark and was preaching to people, come and build. That's not true. That's not true. This is done by grace, and only people with grace understand it. It's not for every other person. Noah alone built the ark. He never preached to people as much as he might have preached. It's not documented. It's not written. But Noah found grace. It is the grace that was upon Noah which covered him. Amen. The grace, the same grace gave Noah revelation of what is about to happen. The same grace gave Noah accessibility to access God and talk with him. Amen. So, Noah found grace. And when Noah found grace, um, something powerful because verse 11 it says the earth also was corrupt no is finding grace the earth continues to be corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence if there is a problem eating up our nation it's corruption. Learned people, but corrupt people. Educated people, but corrupt people. In the entire government of Babylon, all the governors were corrupt except Daniel. I don't know how you live I don't know how you conduct yourself but let me tell you there are things that can be accepted by society but that doesn't mean God accepts them the human rights people they came to present the, the third present Muru and ask him about homosexual. Oh, what is your suggestion about homosexual? <laughs> of all questions to be asked in Kenya, homosexual is an issue? Yes, now it's an issue. It's an issue. It was outside there. 
But now it's knocking in the church. It's knocking in the church. It's an issue. Lesbianism is an issue. It was something strange you hear like that. You know, when, though when I was a young man, when they discover that you are lesbian, mwanga, lesbian, hata kuteka maji, mtoni, utaenda peke yako. Ah! Na watoto watapigwa, wasifatane na wewe. Mwanga! Mwanga! When I was a young man, you see, ijulikane, <laughs> A man is a is a is a is a gay. Yani mwanaume lakini ni bibi ya mtu. Unachomwa kuchomwa kwenyewe moto. Unachomwa. Na baba yako hata lalamika. Mwache anaenda kwa baba. Mwache anaenda kwa baba. Anajua baba yake alipo. Simuone hivyo. Atafika. Mtu aende mahali bure bure hata si tunaenda kwa baba mbinguni. Amen. Yeah. So, Baba huyo hapa. Huyo ndiye Baba. Mmemwangalia ninyi. Akaona uoga. Anaenda kwa Baba. Eh. Yeah. So naona amefika kwa Baba. Wewe <laughs> bado uko njiani hujafika. Bwana akusaidie. Eh. Bwana akusaidie. Amen na brodika kifua ni kwa Ibrahim sasa. Wewe sasa wewe hujafika uko huko njiani tu. Eh bwana akusaidie. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> bwana sifiwe. Yes. Unachomwa, yani mwanaume hivi. Basi utembe namna fulani unaulizwa kwani na unachomwa. Unachomwa. Sasa kuna kikundi kimeenuka kote ulimwenguni kinapigania haki. Hmm? Na na ndio that is one of the condition some of the nations are not helped. Hawapati misaada. Kwa sababu wanasema homosexual is, is not allowed here. And by the time they speak that they know they have their members in the nation although they are quiet because of the law of the land. Let me tell you, things might happen everywhere, anyhow. But my point is, will you find grace in the eyes of God? This world, what destroyed the world with water? It is what destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with the fire. And this world is awaiting. There are people who are praying. And Jesus is telling those who are martyred that there is a number to be accomplished. Before he comes and avenge, God is going to judge this world. And by the time God judges, Abraham asked God, Will you judge the righteous together with the unrighteous? You must be located amidst wicked people. You must be seen. Because this is how Noah behaved. This is how Noah behaved. Let me show you. But I will estimate my covenant with you. Verse 17. Behold, I myself am bringing flood waters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is in, in the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. That is God is saying. But when I do that, I will establish a covenant with you. And you shall go into the ark. You with your sons, you with your wives, and with your 
sons wives with you when god was ready to destroy the earth he said i am establishing a covenant with you brethren we have a covenant with god by the blood of his son jesus that is a covenant to protect us to keep us to sustain us and to make us live like god want us to live there are things that god is about to do but because of you because of the church and let me tell you church we need to change the way we do things we need to change the way we conduct ourselves we need to change because god in heaven is seeing the wickedness is seeing the evil is seeing dirty things but no was found righteous in amid those things god saw noah he is righteous praise the lord our righteousness is not by the works of men it is by the grace of god so you need to find grace in the sight of god when you find grace in the sight of god you are protected even when the ship that paul was traveling sailing in was about to crash because of paul one man amid his hundreds one man paul the lives of people are reserved you are that important you are that important when you live right others will benefit from the kind of life you live bana sifo sana so may god help us and strengthen us shall we stand on our feet i want to make, i want us to make the confession of joshua which he made he say i and i and my house will serve the lord i want to lift up your hands and just tell the lord help me lord that me and my house and my house why do i say so because the devil is attacking our sons is attacking our daughters is ruining our young stars is ruining our brothers young brothers young sisters is bringing a lot of destruction let us ask the lord to give us the ability that you and your house you serve the lord you love the lord you like like noah you find the favor with your family pray for favor pray for the grace of god on your family on your family and begin to pray and say on your life on your life tell the lord let me find grace let me find grace lord let me find grace let me find grace help me lord to find grace lord in my life help me to find grace is somebody praying pray and tell the lord help me that i may find the grace that i may find the grace i may find the grace we bless your name we bless your name lord oh grace grace to overcome grace to conquer grace to go through grace to benefit a breakthrough grace for a benefit breakthrough grace for a breakthrough in the name of jesus i want to hear somebody praying open your mouth and pray tell the lord i need this grace that no one found in your eyes may i find the grace i know my neighbors are wicked i know my agement are wicked i know many families are wicked i know many church choirs are wicked may i find the grace is somebody praying may i find the grace in your sight oh lord may i find the grace may i find the grace oh lord jesus 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 may i find grace oh yes lord 
May I find grace, grace, grace to overcome, grace to withstand. Oh yes, your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient in this kind of a situation, in this kind of a situation, in poverty, in sickness, in disease, in battle, you are grace. Is somebody praying? Lift up your voice and pray. Let me have grace. Give me your grace, O oh Lord. Give me your grace. Give me your grace. Give me your grace that I may be secured. I may be safe. I may be delivered. Oh yes. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sing grace. How sweet. That found that saved a rich like me. I was was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. together and close our eyes we are in the presence of the Lord we are in the presence of the Lord msala bandio asili ya mem nikato zigo Oh! 